All right, we're back. Uh, we got a problem, people. Um, this is the oscillating tool that I told you that was no good from Harbor Freight. I stand corrected. Uh, this baby's got a speed adjustment here. I didn't see that. Uh, we might be back, people. We might be back in the game with this. Let's get the battery and check this out. Now, I made a video here tonight, and I said that I didn't like... Now, the one thing I'll tell you, I still don't like how tight this is. Okay? I mean, look at that. That's pushing the button and everything. That's the one thing I don't like about it. But anyway, there it is. Okay? So here's, a, here's what I was talking about, how slow it is. But I hadn't seen that there's a switch right here. Okay, now we got something, people. Do you hear me? We got something going on. Look at that. All right, so I'm going to grab a blade, and we're going to give this a shot. We are going to give this a shot. Now, oh, what can I grab for wood? Let's see here. Let me grab this piece here. Hold on, people. Let's get these cannons out of the way. All right, here we are. Hold on one second, I gotta get a clamp. Okay, now, the other thing about this that I actually did like about this was, let me put you back here a minute. Hold on, because you gotta be able to see the action, you know what I mean? All right, so the other thing I like about this right here is this piece right here at the top open that up like that and it stays open so you can put your part in there you see that you can put the blade in there right you can index it now mind you this can go this way this can go at a 90 but we're going to just for trial purposes we're going to run it like this now you don't want to get your fingers caught in there so okay i like that that's a great feature now, if this operates correctly, and this has power, we're going to uh, take back our bad uh, review on this. So, let's check this out. Got to get you right up close, because I want you to be able to see. I want all transparency here. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, we have to make a modification to that video. I, I'm not sure how to go back in that video and change things, but uh, I'm going to stand by it now. I, it's my fault, people. I didn't see the, uh, the uh, variable speed here. Um, I do like the variable speed. I like the power now. Um, I This is not the greatest cutting piece, but it's actually got pretty good teeth on it. Um, it sliced through a 2x4 with no problem. Now here, let me tell you, the other one, like I was telling you before, hold on a second. Hold on, people. This other one is a rigid, right? And what they're doing, what the problem is with this is you get cutting with it, and it just, it overheats and it shuts off. I mean, like not even that much of a cut either. It just gets warm, shuts off. And you got a full battery, it still just shuts off. So that's the other reason I really don't like this one. You can't take this on a job with you and think you're going to be able to complete something because it's... You'd be there all day. But uh, this one now, okay.
Okay, so that makes sense. I had it on one thinking I was going to do something. So I like it now. I do like it now. Yep. And look at that. The tool actually stands up on its own because of these nice big batteries. The, the, this uh, five, I think it's a five amp battery. No, this is a three amp. I need to go buy a five amp. I thought I had a five amp. This is only a three amp. And look how well that cut. Uh, we're going to say, uh, we're reviewing the Bauer. And I'm going to say, we like it. We like it enough to keep it. Um, this is going to be nice. I'm going to I'm going to be really happy to uh, use this when I'm putting in some molding or changing out any kind of doors. Uh, this is the tool that you really want. And I really like this uh, this feature here where you just roll this up. Most of them are on a spring and they snap back. You got to try to manipulate all that at once and put the blade in. This one you can actually lock it right open. And look at this. I didn't see that. Let's see something here. Oh. Look at that, we got a light. That, that's good thinking right there. I don't think this has a light on it. No, it don't. No light on this one. And let me tell you something. That sounds kind of silly for a light, but here's the deal. When you're in a tight area and you're in a house or you're up in an attic or you're in a basement, nobody brings a light with them. You always forget it. And when you need to make that one cut and you can actually see what you're doing, I think that's going to be nice. I really do. I really do. Um, I do have to figure out what's going on with the bottom. I might have to put a little uh, beeswax in there because that is very tight down there. I don't know why that's like that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the situation why that's so tight, but let me put a little grease on there or something to see, see if, I can, if I can change that up a little bit. Let me see, what do I have? I thought I had some white lithium here. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll put a little fluid film on there. How's that? We'll put a little fluid film on there. This is what fluid film looks like. It's uh, almost like an earwax color. Uh, let's take and put a little fluid film on here, just on the battery itself. We'll put it just on the edges where it connects and see if that helps. We'll wipe the excess off. Okay, so we don't want that getting down in the battery. But let's see. Maybe there's a burr or something on here. I'm just putting a little bit here, just enough to, to dress it up. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's try this. Now, maybe this will change things for me. No, it's like it's hitting that. It's like it's hitting this... Uh, piece but it's there we go okay maybe it's just going to need to be used a little bit yeah that's better with the yeah that's a little better now okay it's starting to get better all right we're all right it's new it's brand new well i actually like this pretty good people i like this one pretty good and i've been waiting a long time for it because i was just getting ready to go buy me a uh I was getting ready to go buy me a DeWalt one because I have a bunch of DeWalt batteries and I have some nice uh, nice setups for the DeWalt. I have a, the actual grinder. I have a grinder. Um, I have a, a full-on nail gun like that shoots uh, 16s or, or uh, even 12s. Um, I have a roofing coil one that shoots roofing and uh, you can do a whole roof with that thing with batteries. And it is, it's, it's pretty fast, but um, I take it back. I'm going to give this a good review. I'm going on Harbor Freight, and I'm going to write up a nice review on it. And I'm going to let people know that this is a good tool. You just need to read the directions. I didn't read the directions. I never read directions. I always just try to grab it and figure it out. Because after all, we're men. We know it all. You know, we don't read directions. But you probably should. You probably should read them. I'm just not going to. But uh, I figured it out. It's got a... It's got a variable drive here, and who knows what else I'll find out about it as the days roll on by, but I actually like it pretty good. I like it pretty good. Get you one. I think you'll like it. All right, this is Brian. I'm, I'm, I'm correcting my errors. I'm correcting my, my uh, reviews, and I'm telling you, 
hey, look, I'm human. You know, I, I missed something. But uh, that's the Bauer, man. We'll get to get out there and use this on something soon. We'll do another review. We're going to check it out. We're going to put it in uh, some real work and see if it can handle it. But, hey, you just seen it cut a 2x4 like it was nothing. All right, people, this is Brian. I've got to get on down the road.